guys this is mubeen um i have been seeing some of the uh, posts on social media about the sars cov 2 or the covid 19 and these are just incorrect so i wanted to make sure that we go over them and at least understand them um more scientifically to see how correct or incorrect these are one of the things that i really am not happy with is that the people who make such posts are endangering the people who are reading and believing them and then uh, for others who are just propagating them and just throwing them out to others that is also incorrect so let's get into this one post that has been shared millions of times and it is really sadly very incorrect so it says in the former member of a stanford hospital board i have that letter over here the new coronavirus may not show sign of infection for many days so look the coronavirus median um, incubation time is 5 days according to who so that means 50% of the population within 5 days would show the signs and symptoms of the coronavirus disease or covid-19 disease now remember this at the covid-19 disease according to who the first symptoms are going to be fever and dry cough then shortness of breath and then uh, more uh, severe issues so fever not cough not, nothing it is possible that the cough is the one that we start with or sneezing is the one that we start with a shortness of breath depending upon the person situation but the first signs and symptoms are fever and cough so and that is 5 days the incubation time of this virus is from 2 days to 14 days so this can happen to people from 2 days to 14 days median is 5 days um, how one can know that she or he is infected and then they say that the by the time they have fever and or cough they go to the hospital the, the lung is usually 50% fibrosed that is not correct fibrosis means damage to some tissue and then healing of that tissue with scar so like i have scar here on my um, my arm so fibrosis simply means scarring of the lungs and you one cannot develop fibrosis within 2 or 3 days that's just impossible so that is incorrect that is stupid to say and neither is there any test where you hold your breath for as they are saying for 10 second and then if you feel uncomfortable you have fibrosis well you don't have fibrosis by the coronavirus and then even if somebody has fibrosis for other reasons this is not a test for that coronavirus can cause uh, fever and cough as the first symptoms there may be sneezing there may be shortness of breath because there is interstitial pneumonia that can occur and then um, this is possible that in the by the time symptoms are uh, Uh, seen or within 2 3 days of the symptoms it is possible that in some people who have other comorbidities that 50% of the lung develops the um, infiltrates or inflammation or it becomes uh, diseased so that is possible but not the fibrosis and this test is incorrect some by some taiwan expert uh, then they say that uh, everyone should ensure your mouth and throat are moist so look and they say that keep sipping water to throw this virus into your stomach so i'm going to read you an excerpt from a book microbiology book medical microbiology 8th edition page 470 it says unlike most enveloped viruses the corona formed by the glycoprotein around allows the virus to endure the conditions in the git and spread by fecal oral route so uh, unlike other enveloped viruses enveloped viruses mean the viruses that when came out of our cell they stole a part of our cell membrane and our cell membranes need moist environment so the virus needs a moist environment as well so actually in the in the moist environment the virus actually lives better and then this specific virus enveloped virus this is correct enveloped viruses that have a membrane on them when they go in the stomach the stomach acids can kill them but this virus corona virus has a coat of glycoprotein around it which protects it from the stomach acids this is why corona viruses can cause gastroenteritis and this is why they can be transmitted through the fecal oral route that means they can pass out in the stools they can survive the whole git pass out in the stools and then be transmitted again from there so this idea of washing away the virus every 15 minutes to throw it in the stomach number one this does not happen the virus is stuck it's not holding a party in the mouth that you would just drink water and it would just wash away it is stuck to the respiratory membranes and it is stuck to the epithelial cells it's not just sitting there waiting for water to come in so it is stuck there it's not going to wash away and even if you wash it away it is going to then cause the infection of the git because it can Yeah, uh, so disappointing for such rumors. Such people should—I don't know—we should find those people and arrest them. Um, 
everyone should have. so then they say they're very dangerous then important announcement so i have that letter here if you have a runny nose and sputum you have common cold that's not correct look the, correct that it is common cold but they're trying to say that if you have runny nose and sputum you don't have virus that's not true look the virus causes dry cough because it causes interstitial pneumonia however depending upon the person and their own health there may be super infections that develop fast or they may already have super infections going on so virus may be a, an addition in there so runny nose and sputum does not mean it is not coronavirus it also does not mean it is coronavirus so this is just a just a rumor just an incorrect thing it can be dangerous for people coronavirus pneumonia is a dry cough with no runny nose dry cough but runny nose is really uh, it would depend upon people to people the new virus is not heat resistant and will be killed at temperature just 26 to 27 degrees it hates sun so so first thing all viruses hate sun because the sun has ultraviolet rays which would cause the the virus is to be killed however I'm, i want to read you once again uh, why i'm reading you these paragraphs from the books is that it's not mubeen saying it i want you to have the proper references so medical microbiology 8th edition page 471 temperature most human coronaviruses remember i talked about it that coronaviruses can be human or they can be in the spe in the animal species so most human coronaviruses have an optimum temperature for viral growth of 33 degrees centigrade to 35 degrees centigrade and therefore infection remains localized in the upper respiratory tract because this is cooler the 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 air is going in and so this area is cool so human coronaviruses tend to stay in the upper respiratory tract animal coronaviruses the one that are coming in at the SARS-CoV-2 including SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV the book was written before SARS-CoV-2 so they have given the previous two endemics or or outbreaks can replicate at 37 degrees and ca can cause disease replicate at 37 degrees so this stupid guy is saying that they can only survive at 26 27 degrees wrong it is it can actually replicate at 37 degrees this is why it can go deeper in the lungs and it can cause systemic infections as well corona i'm reading continuing to read corona viruses cause cytolytic infection that means they break the the cells and when inoculated in the respiratory tracts of human volunteers they infect and disrupt the function of ciliated epithelial cells so the the cells that line our respiratory system are called ciliated epithelial cells so when you put the corona virus in a person it goes and gets stuck to those cells and kill them so again this idea of 26 27 degrees is just wrong if someone sneeze, sneezes with it it takes about 10 feet normally a person sneeze can go up to 2 meter cough can go up to 2 meter so 6 feet 1 meter is about 3 feet so 3 to 6 feet is the the thing if if it drops on a metal surface it will live for at least 12 hours look the corona virus on the surfaces the fomite so if if i have runny nose and i touch my phone it is a fomite now on the fomites if it is a porous surface it has pores then the corona virus tends to die quickly but if it doesn't have pores it is uh, surface flat surface like metal or plastics it can stay it can live from 2 hours to a couple of days one day for sure remember the reason that it dies on the surfaces is the same that it has an envelope it has a stolen cell membrane from us that needs moisture so if the environment is dry it is going to be killed because it needs moisture which also tells you that if the surfaces are moist or if the environment is moist then it can live longer on those surfaces so you cannot just say that hey any surface it's only going to live for 2 hours to a day it depends upon the local environment as well so just keep washing your hands keep cleaning the surfaces around you then um this is just so stupid drinking warm water is effective for all viruses what the heck that does that mean drinking warm water look virus is in the cells virus is replicating in the cell virus is stuck to the epithelial cells warm water is not going to do anything to that number one number two i also heard from someone not in this letter that taking a hot shower would bring the water uh, the kill the virus or doing hot gargles well, are you trying to fry the virus by frying yourself look our body has homeostatic mechanisms when we take a hot shower our body still continues to maintain its temperature at 37 degrees and if we go in the cold environment within the reasonable limits our body tries to keep ourselves at 37 degrees 
So the, this virus, coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, can actually replicate at 37 degrees. So you take a hot shower or not, it doesn't matter. It's going, the body is going to maintain 37, and the coronavirus can replicate. You go out in cold, body is going to maintain 37, and the virus is going to replicate. Unless you become so cold that with hypothermia, you die and the virus dies too. So that don't do that. Um, wash your hands frequently as the virus can only live for... Yeah, so wash your hands frequently because you may be touching fomites. There are two ways that there are three ways that you can get this virus. One is from the droplets and aerosols, that is from other people's breath by coughing, sneezing, or just breathing. The other one is touching the fomites or the contaminated surfaces and then touching yourself with them, mouth, ear, uh, mouth, nose, and eyes. And the third one is fecal oral route as well, where it goes from the GIT and passes out in stools and somebody touched the stools or their hands are dirty and then they touch a food item or they touch a surface and then you touch that or you eat that food and then you receive receive the virus as well. So washing hands is correct. You should also gargle as a prevention, a simple solution in salt water. Look, salt water causes hyperosmotic pressure, which can drain out the cells and pull the water out of the cells. What I do not have is a medical study or a scientific study to prove or disprove this thing. So no, no comment here. Can't emphasize enough, drink plenty of water. Then they're saying the symptoms. It will first infect the throat, so you'll have sore throat. Look, WHO says that the first symptoms will be fever and dry cough. Then can be shortness of breath. Now, based on various people, based on the environment, based on the other, other viruses and other bacteria and their, their other comorbidities, there may be cough, there may not be cough, there may be sore throat, there may not be. But the rule here, the guidance from WHO is, Fever plus dry cough is the first thing to see. And especially if you cannot explain it, that why did this just happen? Or if the person has been in a close contact with someone else who has COVID-19, COVID or they have lived in, a, in an area where COVID-19 was spreading, then fever, dry cough should make a person suspect of the uh, COVID-19. The virus can blend into a nasal fluid. This is just stupid idea, nasal fluid blending and whatever. The nasal congestion is not like the normal kind. Uh, you feel like drowning. I, you don't feel like drowning with the nasal congestion. Even if I just close my nose right now, I'm not going to feel like drowning. So this is just weird thing. So anyways, I wanted to make sure that number one, please do not, do not uh, recycle this letter. Do not share this letter anymore. It is bad. It is incorrect. And it is dangerous for people. And number two, please have these answers available to you. When you see this letter, you should know what's going on. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for joining. And we will continue to do more lectures. Please tell me what other topics would you like? What other myths have you heard that I can help you understand that if these are correct or not? And we'll go from there. Thank you very much. Have a good day and stay safe. Bye-bye.